Hi, it's Matt from Testfully and in this video I'm going to give you a demo of our platform for API testing and monitoring. Sign up for an account and then come to the test section where you can define your test cases. For each of our test cases we can have multiple steps and each step is basically one HTTP request. Moreover, you can reference the values from one step within another step. For this demo, I'm going to use the Rick and Morty API, which is a free API available at rickandmortyapi.com. Let's go to the document section and then have a look at the REST API. They have API for fetching the Rick and Morty characters, so I will copy this one and come to the testfully dashboard. So here I can set title for my API as well as the each steps. For example, I will set RESTful API returns a valid character profile. Get request to the same point with ID 2. So this is the URL of my API. I save this test. I can run it using this button and everything is fine. Obviously, I don't have any validation here. You see that the test passed, but there is no validation. I will copy part of the response here. I want to make sure that this is always included in the response. You can click on the validation section to come to the validations. And in the response body section of the validation, you can have the response body validation. I also offer response headers, response time, as well as the response code. So here I will paste my response body. Also I will set 200 OK as my response code. I'm running this test and this time I have a couple of more validations, which is working. Let's go create another test. I will just duplicate this test. This time I'm going to try to fetch profile of an invalid uh, character. So instead of two, I will put one, two, three, four, five, six, and save this one. Let's run this one. We can see that some of the validations failed because the response is different. So I will copy the new response, come back to my validations, and paste this one. The response code will be also 404. Save this one. Can run it one more time. And this time it is fine. The next feature that I want to demo is the collections. This is a way to group relevant test cases together. So I come to the collections section and here I can set my collection information. The title would be Rick and Morty API in this case. And in our folder, I will select both test cases. We also support a feature that allows you to monitor your API by running a collection in background. I will get rid of it for now and click on save. Let's run our collection and see what happens. Both of the test cases, as you can see, are passing. As I mentioned, we can, we can monitor our API using our test cases as well. So let's create a new automation here. And I select the default configuration and run it every minute. And every time the test fails, I want to be notified via email. So I enable this item. I click on the save and come to the automation section. And my automation is created. Let's wait for Testfully to enable our automation. So now our automation is active. We can click on the pass runs, this button here. And you can see that now Testfully executed this test once. We can click on it to see the results. Another feature that I want to demo is about configuration. So if you go back to our test cases, you can see that the URL of our API is hard coded. I want to use a config value for this one. So I'll copy this one, come to the configs, and define a new config called base URL and paste my URL. This is my configuration. Let's go back to the test and I can get rid of this URL and type at and select the base URL. Now, Testfully will include the actual value for us every time that it runs this test case. I will go ahead and try the same thing with the another test as well. Let's go and run this test to see what happens. You see that it still works uh, and the URL is still same. But this time it is loading it through configuration. 
One more feature that I want to introduce to you is about uh, generating random data. Obviously, this ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is always the same because we hard coded it. What if I want to, every time that to run this test, to create a new ID? I will type at and select number, and this will generate a random number every time for us. So I will run this test case one more time. You can see that this time it generated this number. And if I run this one one more time, it's going to be another number. That's it, a quick demo of Testfully. Uh, we have features like environment and data templates that we didn't go through then, so we highly recommend to sign up for an account and try to use our walkthroughs, which gives you a quick uh, demo of uh, different features and how they work.